Hi everyone, and welcome back for another whiskey review. Still working my way through the Arden Merkin virtual whiskey tasting pack, which has been just amazing so far. If you haven't caught the other two videos before this, which was the first ever single malt release and then a single cask whiskey and an unusual barrel. <laughs> So I'm on to number three now, out of the pack, which is an ex-bourbon cask. And it said it is painted malt they've used for this one. The 30th of 7th, 15. So maybe a five-year-old or around there, but it is a single barrel, single malt, cask strength whiskey at 59.2%. All right, time to find out what the Arden Merkin can do with use of a single ex-bourbon barrels. Oh. Very, very light in color. I mean, you don't expect much color from the ex-bourbon barrel, but very light. Mmm. Very, very oily on the nose. Just keep this handy to make sure I get the notes right or at least attempt to we all get different notes ourselves everyone has an amazing individual whiskey nosing or sipping experience very maxi mm, there's the peat again I said peat but it seems more sort of like a mineral character or like a seaside character in the nose rather than um, like a full-blown in your nose like an Ardberg or a Lafroy. Very gentle. Hmm. It's a bit of honey on the nose again. Alright, let's give that a sip, see what it's all about. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> there is smoke all over my palate. It's just weird experience. On the nose, couldn't even really detect much of the smoky character. But on the palate, it is just amazing. My whole palate is just covered in juicy sweetness and smoky character really beautifully it's not overpowering but it is very very rewarding really nice i mean it is a young single cask cast strength whiskey done in ex bourbon barrel and this right now is reminding me a lot of these two english whiskey single barrels i tried from the english whiskey company they're also pt whiskey and it's reminding me a lot of those two particular ones but i would say this is a bit more on the sweeter side and a lot more rewarding in terms of um, sweetness intertwining with the smoky character. Mm. So what did these guys say? Bavarian cheese, fresh pears, smoked manuka honey, wow. Pink grapefruit, burnt hay, mandarilla See, that's what I was getting on the nose. But on the palate, it's peachy, smoky character. Just really, really good. And saline. Really, really nice. I mean, this is... This is terrific for a young single cast. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Adam Merkin don't need me to say this, but I will go on the record and say it. This is what this can do. At such a young age, <laughs> we're in for an amazing treat once their stocks start hitting 10, 15, 20, 25, and beyond in a number of years because it's a very good, honest spirit, you can tell. All right, let's try it with a little bit of water. Mmm. A lot less murky character since I've added the water. Loads more honey and very juicy. Very rewarding on the palate. Oh, so good. It's making me crackle. 
Wow. That's a terrific whiskey. And at no point, this is the second uh, cast rate one I've had. At no point I've got that sort of alcohol burn you may get from another distillery's young cast sample where um, these kind of in a VFA are holding up. There's no sharpness or rough edge, if you may say, to this one in particular. Wow, really, really good. Well, if you're liking the content, please like, share and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very near future with another whiskey review. See you later. Bye bye.